Hello, my friends. I had the opportunity to show the practical application of an auto collimator. In this video, I used the services of a voice-over assistant. An accurate bubble level is convenient for measuring a horizontal plane, but not a plane outside the horizontal position. There is a V-shaped guide for linear movement, so only an autocollimator is suitable for taking measurements. It checks the plane regardless of its position relative to the horizon. As a result, we will know where the V-shaped linear guide has worn out. In addition, we will know where to remove metal with a scraper to restore its straightness. You can repair the guide with only a scraper, an autocollimator, and a one meter long calibration bridge. The machine remains in place during repairs, almost assembled. The autocollimator is also useful when installing large machine tools, since long cast iron parts are easily subject to elastic deformation when installed on the foundation. For a clear example, the bend of this machine was modeled in an engineering program. When this frame is located on four support points at its ends in the center, it will bend from its mass by 0.01 millimeters. It becomes clear that a cast iron frame with linear movement guides can be severely deformed if improperly installed on the foundation. Controlling the installation of the cast iron frame with an autocollimator will ensure correct installation, eliminating deformation of the linear movement guides. A stand for the autocollimator has been made. A stand for the mirror has also been made. The distance between its supports is 300 millimeters. Autocollimator Model AK 0.2. Sensitivity 0.2 arc sec. During this measurement, 10 movements of the mirror will occur. One. Two. First mirror position. I placed the cross in the center of the scale. I find it convenient to record results this way. When there is war, sometimes there is an air raid raid.
you can connect a smartphone, it focuses on the scales of the device, and they can be seen on the screen. This is the second scale control. Second scale, the scale moves quickly. At the same time, the cross reflected by the mirror also moves in the same direction, but barely noticeably. We do this when we need to determine the displacement of the cross by tenths of a second. Now the surface is too lumpy and it will not be possible to measure so accurately and it is not necessary at this stage. This is a knob for controlling the position of the optical axis of the autocollimator. You can see how the cross reacts to the rotation of this handle. I'll quickly demonstrate once again how the measurement is carried out. The bubble level with which the device is equipped. The price of its scale division is one arc minute. This is enough to correctly install the device on its stand. Since these guides are prismatic, it will be easier for me to process data obtained at right angles to the planes of the guides. That's why now I'm additionally showing you this technique. I rotate the device 45 degrees. It's good that this option is provided structurally in this model. Otherwise, you can use a tilted stand. This is the last measurement option. Now I'm doing the opposite move to average the result. In this case, due to the poor condition of the guide surface, the repeatability of the measurement result is within one arc minute. At this stage of measurements, this is enough for us. As the surfaces are improved through the scraping repair process, the flatness of the surfaces will improve and the measurement accuracy will increase up to the maximum for this autocollimator, which is one micron per meter. Thus, it is possible to achieve the accuracy of this guide over its 3 meter length, plus or minus one and a half microns of deviation. I am planning on refurbishing the linear guides on this machine and hopefully we will see how that turns out. After processing the data received, I received information about the state of this linear movement guide. Field of view in first position. This animation shows the logic of the measurement and data processing process.
This is how the geometry of the guide has changed due to wear. in direct confirmation of the measurement result by simply pulling a thread. Thank you. Goodbye.